Time to convert some units. Bam. Okay. Uh, we're looking here at a CP Physics uh, Unit 1, the math tools, practice problem. Uh, this is an E1 problem where we're converting units. So dimensional analysis, train track, fence post methods. Um, and what we're having here is the Star of Africa is a 530.2 carat diamond in the scepter of the British Crown Jewels. Um, we know that by definition, a carat is 0.2 grams. And we know that one kilogram has a weight of 2.21 pounds. What we'd like to do is to calculate the weight of the diamond in pounds. So let's start off with what we've got here um, and when we're doing this uh, train track, fence post, dimensional analysis, whatever you like to call it. We have a 530.2 carat, I'm gonna write that as a car, I'll just write carat, diamond, okay? Whoosh, boom, there's our train track, fence post, dimensional analysis thing. We know that a carat has a mass of 0.2 grams. So if I need to get rid of this carat in the numerator, I need to put a carat in the denominator. And that means that the 0.2 grams, 0.2 grams is now in my numerator. Cool. Unfortunately for us, I need to get a weight in pounds but the only unit conversion I have for that is with kilograms. So I need to get these grams into kilograms somehow. So I could either do the metric prefix thing I did previously where I take the first value and subtract it from the second metric prefix, or I can think about this uh, as a conversion factor. Um, I know that I have 1,000 grams in a kilogram. So if I want to get rid of the grams here, I can say I've got 1,000 grams in one kilo. And now that I have gotten rid of the carrots, I've gotten rid of the grams, and I have kilograms here, now I just need to get rid of the kilograms so that things go back into pounds. So if I've got a kilogram in the numerator, I need to put this kilogram in the denominator, so one kilo, and that has a weight of 2.21 pounds. LBS. So now my kilograms have gone away as well. And if I look at this, um, there's no units in the denominator here because we're only talking about carrots. There's only numerator things. So the carrots have gone away. The grams have gone away. The kilograms have gone away. I have pounds. And that just means that I just need to multiply my numerator and get a number and then divide it by whatever I've multiplied through my denominator. So let's just do the denominator first. It's an easy one. One times a thousand is a thousand. A thousand times one is one. There's nothing here. So this is just a thousand in the denominator. It's unitless because there's no units down here. They've all canceled out. Um, and for my numerator, this I'll pull out a little calculator for um, because I've got 530.2 times 0.2, which is 106.04 times one gives me 106.04. And then times 2.21 gives me a value of 234.2. Uh, we'll just go with 3, 5. We'll just round up to that. And then if I just do our division here, 234.35 divided by 1,000. I really don't need the calculator for this. I know that since I have three zeros here in the denominator, 1, 2, 3, this is going to move this to the left by 3, 1, 2, 3. And then I just have to divide by 1, which gives me the same number. So this is going to be 0. 0.23435 if I wanted to cut this for sig figs, I could. Um, let's not worry about that right now. I'll come back to that later. Uh, and that gives us my only unit that was left, which is pounds, LBS. So boom, there it is. There's our uh, unit conversion dimensional analysis problem all finished. Um, uh, hopefully you got that answer. Hopefully you followed along with that uh, and it worked out for you. What you should try now though, is this second problem, um, uh, calculating the area of a sheet of paper, which is normally in inches in meters and there's a little trick to this one because you've got inches twice so try that out and then check it on the next video for that solution